Their first stop was at the Toro Cement Industries, where they engaged in a constructive dialogue with the factor heads to provide updates on the government's stance regarding mineral resource exploitation. Thank you, Toro Cement, for being one of the largest taxpayers also. And I think I want to ask you people to, to appreciate them. They, they, pay, they make money but also pay tax. We want to thank you for the contribution that you are doing to the economy of this country in terms of, you know, job creation, the taxes that you pay, we appreciate. Following the meeting, the committee embarked on a tour of the factory to witness ongoing expansion activities aimed at increasing clinker production, a vital component in cement manufacturing. We've come here to see how they are adding value and we will be proceeding to those who are stranded, who used to export semi-processed minerals, but because of the ban that was put, they are no longer exporting. The team later visited Simba and Hema cement factories each producing 5,000 and 2,500 tons of cement daily. Investors expressed their concerns about the challenges of finding market for their products and the impact of fluctuating fuel prices on transportation costs. So it really hits us so hard. Um, and probably the minister will help us on that. Addressing the investors' concerns, Dr. Ruth Nankabira showed them that the government would take swift action to address these issues. Once we pull power from Kaluma to Tororo, that is going to be a 220 kV line, I think. 400 kV line from Karuma substation to Tororo, that is going to see power stability in this region. The tour will continue in Manafa district and the team is expected to proceed to Busia district tomorrow.